welcome to the Frothcast. Uh, that's the that's the name I've chosen, by the way. Uh, <laughs> so today, uh, well, I guess uh, today and whatever other day I choose, depending on time zones and such. Um, I have with me the Gamesman. Say hello. 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 <laughs> And we are going to talk about horror movies. That is the predominant topic in this uh, discussion. And why is that? Uh, it's just what we want to talk about. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, we've got we've got basically um, a, a mutual understanding of of horror movies. Um, Rachel's a big fan of horror movies, and I have been for the last God knows how many years. So we've got a bit of a grasp on horror movies, but we're not saying that we are professionally um, inclined into the horror movie genre. We're professionally, professionally unprofessional. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But it's just a topic that we do like to talk about. Mm-hmm. 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 Especially when we uh, are uh, like, especially cheesy or gory, like uh, the early Peter Jackson movies. Oh. That is one I forgot to um, bring up on, on a tab, is the, yeah, <laughs> of Mr. Feeble fame. <laughs> <laughs> now, I threw you a link a couple of uh, weeks ago. Yeah. Um, Peter Jackson, in his early days, wow, I mean, this was uh, this was way before, like, Weather Workshop. Um, this, this, this is his own sort of um, puppetry skills, I'd say, you know, when he, when he first started making the movies by himself, even. Mm-hmm. Um, and like the the puppets that he used were just spot on, really, weren't they? Like yeah, um, especially that fly. The the fly on on the on the uh, excrement mm-hmm. with the spoon. Oh, bro! Mm-hmm. But um, I mean that I think that was one of his first ones. Then there was there was Bad Taste, and then there mm-hmm. was Brain Dead. Mm. Uh, Brain Dead was renamed to another movie. It, w- it had a different name uh, in Europe, I think it was, uh, I can't remember the name of it, like what it was called over your side of the world, but yeah, it was known as Braindead here. I think it was called um, like Evil Ed or something, wasn't it? I- I'm not too sure, I can I can quickly look it up. Um, uh, but that movie, that sort of kicked it off for me, well, with regards to like the goriness of, of Peter Jackson and what, what he did, in his movies, that sort of made my eyes open. Um, I mean, there was Brain Dead and all that, but they sort of had a different feel about them. But when he did, uh, oh, sorry, Bad Taste, but when he did Brain Dead, that was sort of a more of a higher budget type of movie that sort of, um, yeah, really, really opened my eyes to Peter Jackson's work. And uh, of course, he did a whole lot of other ones as well. Like he did um, Heavenly Creatures, which is a really good. It was actually a true story based on a true story. Oh yeah, here, De- here Heavenly Creatures. Yeah. That was a great one. Yep, yep, yep. That and um, Lovely Bones as well. Uh, mm-hmm. That that was that was a, quite a serious movie. Mm-hmm. Um, when you when you look back at like his writing style, um, to compare it to sort of that sort of movie, I mean that was a really, really serious movie, but it sort of did have its dark elements as well. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but uh, well, like going from from Bad Taste, where it was like um, you could sort of see like the, the low budget end of his his chops and that, and then moving up to Brain Dead, it was a huge jump. It really, it really was. Mm-hmm. And of course, you had you had um, <coughs> Bad Taste, uh, bleh, Met Feebles before that as well, which was even lower lower budget. Love it. Love Peter Jackson movies. The Frighteners. Have you seen that? The Frighteners. Uh, that one was yeah. the Matthew, no, Michael J. Fox movie, right? That's that's right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That was shot here in uh, L- a place called Littleton, which is mm. just over the hills from where I live. And um, so it was all it was all close to home for me. Like they they were actually the Frighteners and um. Uh, uh, Heavenly Creatures were, were filmed on the same sort of um, group of hills uh, around my city. So it, w- it was immediately sort of struck home, you know, like, wow, I've been there. I've, 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 I've stood in that place. I've been there. Mm-hmm. And uh, that, that sort of brings 
the, that feeling of uh, Peter Jackson movie is quite close to home for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorry, I was just what I was looking through the uh, Peter Jackson Wikipedia here, and it says um, mm-hmm. uh, uh, with the Meet the Feebles, it says uh, it was mm. rapidly expanded into a full-length film after unexpected enthusiasm from Japanese investors. <laughs> And they do love their puppetry, uh, yeah. the Japanese dudes, don't they? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, I mean, you know, that, that was something that you would probably expect, yeah. yeah. It was, yeah. It's just funny yeah, to I mean, see, it's like, Japanese investors wanted to... He was uh, just doing a short film uh, intended for television, mm. but then, uh, like, the Japanese investors were just like, no, 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 make it a full-length film, make it a full-length film. And so he's like, yeah. well, yeah, wow. okay. <laughs> You're gonna pay me and for I guess it, that's where it's like um, mm, <coughs> his, his puppetry with regard to blood and guts as mm. well. Like um, I mean, when when a, when a, when one of the rats or whatever it was got squashed or something, you know, mm-hmm. like the blood and guts actually came out of the puppet itself, and that was like wow, what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what is this? Um, and it really goes back to my love of like um a- animation in general, like uh. I mean, we were talking earlier about about um, Sinbad and mm-hmm. Seven Voyage. So, with regard to that, uh, for me, it was like the the whole claymation side of things that, that really got me interested in um, in that style of work. Uh, like the the old Cyclops and the dragon battles and things like that. It was just like just like back in the day. For me, it was it was like wow, you know, this is like the latest thing that I'd ever seen. Of course, it doesn't compare to what you see now with regard to um you know film editing and things like that mm-hmm. but um but yeah the technicolor the whole technicolor thing back in the day was like you know it just there's nothing that could beat it it looked it looked so cheesy yet it was so cool um and then of course going into the horror theme um you had the ghouls which was another puppet based type of horror movie um, have you ever have you seen the Ghoulies? Oh yes, I've seen all of the Ghoulies. <laughs> Mate, that I mean that. So here we go. We got some statistics here. So Ghoulies. Um, the first one was produced in 1985. Second one 1988. Third one 1991, and the fourth one was 1994. So they brought out four um, the four movies of the Ghoulies. Mm-hmm. And I remember watching the very first one, and and I was only I was only a wee nipper. And it scared the shit out of me. It mm-hmm. scared the living, and that's why I still remember it to this day, because it, because it, um, it, it was the one that came out of the toilet that really jump scared me. <laughs> oh yeah, well, <laughs> when a little deformed baby creature comes out of the mm-hmm. toilet, you kind of get uh, a little scared. <laughs> you do, mate. You do, but it, it was th- there. We go again. I mean, it was just so well done at the time as well mm-hmm. for for 1985. Mm-hmm. You had this little green creature popping out of the toilet, which was like dripping with goo, and oozing this oozing this bloody goo. And um, I still remember it to this day. Like I haven't watched the movie since then, mm-hmm. but I, I still remember the cover the cover of the actual movie itself. You know, on the on the shelf, had mm-hmm. like a, a, a bloody baby coming out of the toilet. So yeah, that's like know, the that's most predominant like thing people remember is like the yeah. baby coming out of the toilet, and I think that's like the. Yeah. The, like on the poster, it's like what the mm. you know what it looks like. Like that's what the visual Front of the thing is. So yeah. So like, yeah, that, that I didn't really like the second, uh, the third and fourth the Ghoulies because it was just like they were coming apart a little too much, and then the fourth one was like there wasn't really any Ghoulies. It was just like, uh, like uh, little people in costumes, and it's like eh, that's not really the puppetry oh. that I first fell in love with. You know. Yeah. Uh, yep, like yep, in yep. the third one yeah. where they were like in college and they were like mm-hmm. cool dudes in college and they talked. I'm like, no, <laughs> don't let the demonic creatures talk, <laughs> especially yeah. not like drunken yeah. uh, college students. Like that's just a little too much. Like at least with uh, with yeah. gremlins, like uh, like, mm. like when they had them talk, it was just like uh, one or two words. Or, like, in the second Gremlins, it was just, like, uh, one guy was super intelligent, so he could talk with uh, grace and proficiency and everything, and, uh, 
uh, like that was fine because you know he was the one who drank the smart potion in the uh, weird mm. you know science building or whatever that's right that's mm-hmm. right yeah they um when they go too far um with the those sort of when they do a series of those movies if they mm-hmm. if they push too far away from the original that's when it, it sort of loses its characteristics mm-hmm. And yeah. and for me, like I'd I'd have to say about the same time as the third Guardians as well. Yeah. Is when it lost it. Like like one and two were were kind of similarish, mm-hmm. but then it went. It started to get really cheesy after that, and like the, yeah. the third and fourth one were just like, just you know. Like so part critters, one, critters kept with yeah. it. Critters was like, okay, we gotta yeah. keep the critters to do the same things that they always do. Yeah, it'll, it's going to mm-hmm. mesh all the movies together, and it's going to make it incomprehensible as to which one you're watching at the moment, but <laughs> it's going to be, out you with, know. Uh, I think, four. four. Was it four? four I think four? so. I think it was um, four as well, yeah. Right, right, right. Um, I know it was, the first one came out in 1986, um, and it doesn't really tell me much more. I, I barely remember it. Critters 1 is 1986, Critters 2 is 1988, Critters 3, 1991, Critters 4, 1992. Wow. I mean, that seems like an age away for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, the, I I guess the the audience that may be listening to this were were pretty much born after 92, Mm -hmm. (laughs) you know? Yeah. Um, Well, the first one... They'll be saying, like, what? What are these guys talking about? (laughs) Yeah. Well, the first one, uh, it says that, like, I'm looking on Wikipedia again. uh, It says the director was Stephen Herrick, and then he was also a writer. And uh, there was Rupert Harvey was a producer. And then later on, uh, Rupert Harvey became uh, the director for Critters 4, and also the writer, and also the producer. So, like, when... uh, Later mm. on, he I guess he either fell in love with it or he wanted just to stretch it out more. But again, like the Critters thing, it just kind of like, okay. Mm. So the Critters series was a lot like the Aliens series, uh, where it was like, okay, yeah. here are the rules for the Critters or for the Aliens or whatever. This is what they do. This is what they need to do. Mm-hmm. This is how they get from point A to point B. Um, if you can make it uh, as least as ridiculous as possible, that would be lovely. But we're gonna. Uh, this I think the second one has an Easter, uh, like an Easter parade or whatever. Or was that the third one? Right. I can't remember. <laughs> but like one it's of them, like was space, yeah. in space, like, uh, but that was okay because they were also from space, and it was like. You know what? Yep. That that's fine. That makes sense. They're aliens, so they're supposed to be in space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, the first one started <laughs> out. Uh, it was a prison set on an asteroid, mm-hmm. um, and and they they basically uh, the critters were set up to be transported to another tra- uh, yeah another station, and then they they killed a couple of guards and hijacked the ship, mm-hmm. and then basically yeah they they had bounty hunters chasing them. And then somehow they got onto Earth. Uh, mm-hmm. But yeah, that's that's pretty much all I can remember of, of the first one. I mean, th- this is going back to about 1986. Yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, I would have probably seen it sort of late late 80s, early 90s. So that was definitely a few years ago. Yeah. Years. Yeah. I binge watched um, uh, the series uh, a couple of years mm. ago. So even I, like, even though I watched all of them, like, in a row, I still don't really remember... Uh, yeah. Who was where or what was happening? I yeah, think. Yeah. And the th- I think the thing is, like when you when you watch them all in a row as well, and then you try to remember them later on in life, you get them all mixed up. Mm-hmm. Like you keep on thinking that part two is part four or whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I think and one that, of them. That goes for. Like hmm? uh, I think critters. Uh, one of the critters ones was in an apartment building. Um. Right. I think it was. I love. Like there was I, I one love in the an apartment. Of them, by the way. Yeah, where they're yeah. like little hedgehog sort of things. They were man, but they had like loads of teeth. Hey, they just had. Yeah, the, they're like langoliers mixed bit. with uh, hedgehogs. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, 
and they rolled into balls and rolled around and stuff. And uh Yeah, probably did. I wonder who um Design them? If they had any Yeah, I wonder if they had any ties to the actual Gremlins movie itself, like like you know, do they have the same director or or the same producer or something like that? Because they were (coughs) incredibly similar, you know. Mm Mhm. Uh, it says here, appearance. The crites, which are the critters, have been described mm. as porcupines, rats, badgers, opossums, uh, hedgehogs, rabid cats, Tasmanian devils, and a slew of other similar creatures. Yeah. So, <coughs> they've, yeah. they've looked a lot smaller in sequels, but they're not as furry. Um, mm. But they kind of look furry, but they, they're like Sonic the Hedgehog sort of thing. Yep, um, yep. E- evil Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. And I guess, I guess we're gonna put a, a put a bit of a picture up for the viewers oh, yeah, as well. Oh yeah, definitely. What they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So yeah, they, they, um, yeah. From from I don't know, man. Like like that generation of horror movies all seem to be like evolving from from little wee ugly puppets, mate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. um, you had the Ghoulies, then you had the the, the Critters. Um, what else was there that had like little aliens like that? Um, there was w- there was one that really freaked me out, and uh, I don't know if you ever seen it. It was banned here. Uh, it was called Extro X T R O. Oh, Extro, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I've yeah, heard of yeah, it. That was that was banned here. Wow. That was banned yeah, there. Uh, put, yeah, it was. It was here. so bad though. <laughs> like it was it was bad but good. Like it was. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I mean, have you seen it, it though? Like it before now. it got banned? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I, I, oh I, man. I've seen it a few times. It's so great though, because it's yeah. like, uh, it's it's well done in a way that the person mm. who made it like really loved, um, the uh, movie. Like they really loved yep. uh the idea and the concept and everything like that. So there was like a lot of love and passion in it. Even though, like, it was probably like low budget, uh, it was just like mm-hmm. so amazingly done because somebody cared about it and just put a lot of yep. care and love into it. And that that came out in a couple of parts too. I think there was part two. Um, yeah, there's and two it's and quite a three. Funny, like, two and a three, right? Yeah. The um, I was looking through the internet, you know, as, as you do, you, you jump onto YouTube and you have a look at like alien mm-hmm. um, photos and things like that, or or um, legends, quote unquote legends. Oh yeah. Like <laughs> creatures in a certain country, and of course there was one that was circ- circulating around of of this creature that was documented in um, in Mexico, and it was a, a photo of this creature standing on the side of the road. Mm-hmm. And of course, when you look at um, a certain scene in Extro, you realise that that's, that's the same thing. It's, it's yeah. the same photo that was being circulated. <laughs> I, I love it when somebody right. does that, where they just take a picture yeah. off the internet, a random one, and it's just like, no, yeah. that's the alien from Paul. What are you talking about? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and they think that, oh, you know, since this is such a low-budget movie that was made so long ago, there wouldn't have been many people around that would have seen it. Um, yeah. But, come on. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, like uh, the, the scariest you know, part, like, I remember is, like, the woman giving birth to the full grown man and I'm like, ah no <laughs> Yeah. Was that the bit in the bathtub? Um no, I think it was like on a kitchen floor or something. She just oh, randomly yeah. gave birth yeah, and I it was like yeah, crowning yeah. and everything. I'm like, no oh. Ugh. Now we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now we're getting filthy there. <laughs> oh, filth, mate. Mm-hmm. But um but yeah that, that film, man, like I, I watched that when I was about I don't know, ten or eleven or something like that. <laughs> Boy, boy, that gave me nightmares, eh? Um, yeah. And that would have been around the same time as uh, Nightmare on Elm Street came out, too, mm-hmm. back in the day. Nightmare on Elm Street and was that, also, that was like, a uh, like a terrifying thing, but nobody really took it away or anything like that, I don't think. Like, it was more like, yeah, uh, yeah. you shouldn't watch it, but also go buy a ticket. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But that, that sort of, that's another one, for me, that sort of lost track of its roots as well. Yeah. Once they like start the, integrating like, the power glove, uh, you know, that's yeah. kind of when it teeters off course. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. The first three or four were good. Mm-hmm. But then after that, it's sort of like, oh, no. Mm-hmm. You know, like the, uh, 
the old school animations again, like there was a bit with um, um, they they were in like a pizza joint. I can't remember which one it was. Uh-huh. And like they 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 ordered a pizza and they and they looked at it and like all the all the meat balls were like like faces looking up at the meat. And yeah. They were like yes, that's what we're talking about. That was cool. Mm-hmm. Love that. Yeah, and like uh, also with that with uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, there was like Friday the Thirteenth. Um, which yeah. would also kind of teeter on off the edge, like when he had to go to Manhattan yeah. and uh, space. Well, at least with the space one, it was like, uh, like even the leprechaun went to space. Like <laughs> nobody mm. was safe from having been hurtled into space at some point. But yeah. like it was yeah, in the yeah, future, yeah. and like the the Friday Thirteenth one, like Jason, it was in the future. And they had different technology. They still weren't able to, you know, properly kill them properly. But, um, mm. you know, they upgraded they, him they, a bit. They and, something. Yeah. Yeah. They did something real weird, like, and, and this is this is coming into sort of this, this era of, of horror movies where they started integrating the horror movies together. They mm-hmm. had Jason versus Freddy. They oh, had, yeah. They um, had Aliens versus Predator. Mm-hmm. You know, it was like... What is with that? Mm-hmm. You know, like. Well, the idea uh, was I, really I, cool. The idea of oh, cool, mm-hmm. these two awesome horror characters, uh, like Freddy versus Jason, they're gonna fight, and yeah. it's gonna be awesome. But unfortunately, it focused on the people more, <laughs> and yeah. uh, all of their problems rather than the actual mm-hmm. fight between them. But when they were actually fighting, it was awesome because it was like cool. Now it's uh, Jason's dream, and he's in charge, or. Now, uh, uh, mm. like, uh, he's able to take over whichever, and it was so much better yeah. that way, because it was like, good, good, now we can see what they're, uh, like, because we have so much uh, backstory on the both of them, that, you know, mm. we don't have to worry about talking about them that much, it's just like, okay, now you two fight it over, and just use your powers against yeah. each other, or whatever. Like, yeah, yeah. Jason's invincibility, and... Like Freddy's uh, like like if he's in the human world, his 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 uh, um, uh, his uh, ability to get shredded by Jason, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 because he's invincible. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it sort of feels a bit marvelish to me, if you know what I mean. Like, I mean, yeah. of course we had Super Superman versus whoever, you know. It sort of felt a bit like um. That's DC. Oh, I was, yeah. I don't think Marvel similar. really had a versus versus unless it was like, um, in the movie universe, like in, uh, Iron Man and Iron Man Two and Iron Man Three. Like there was a lot of versus Iron Man versus this or Iron Man versus that or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. It's sort of yeah uh, yeah I don't know it just it just doesn't oh, for me it's because. I guess, um, as a kid growing up, I watched them as, as individuals, you know, like, you, you had your Nightmare on Elm Street, um, you know, like, like series, and then you had your, um, Friday 13th series with Jason Voorhees, and then, but at the end of it, like, they, it seemed like, oh, well, we've really got no more to, to talk about, you know, that there's, the, the stories are done, hey, hang on a minute, how about we just intertwine them, and we do Jason versus Freddy, that didn't need done, mm-hmm. You know, you know, it's like, oh, come on, guys. <laughs> yeah. Come on, guys. And, like, um, with uh, and, and that's Alien vs. Predator 2, it was, like, talking about, yeah. like, uh, well, not the second one. The second one was just even worse than the first one. <laughs> At least with the first one, it's like, right. okay, so uh, uh, the, this corporation wants to figure out what's in the, the newly found underground um thing in the Arctic, like this uh, weird pyramid thing yep. in the Arctic, and uh, they want to know what's going on there, even though they know what's going on there, and they just want the technology mm. from there. <laughs> so they just, they're like, yeah. yeah, let's just throw these people around there, hope for the best, and then later on, like, the predator and, uh, like, the human join up, even though it's like, um, that shouldn't happen at all. Like, yeah, I know I'm they not, don't really I'm care not. about the humans that much like to them it's like target practice but they yeah, still yeah. aren't gonna you know 
help the humans and it's like becomes friends or whatever and it's like all right i'll help protect you from the aliens here's the alien skull and the a rope or whatever yeah. so you can fight back <laughs> Well, it's never the way that the story was. Like, the, the humans were trophies for mm -hmm. um, the Predators, you know, and if you go back to the last sort of real first movie that was made, they, they were um, on, you know, a different, pla a different planet altogether and they were being hunted by the, the Predators in, in a game fight, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and now that, that with all this, with all three friends, you know, we'll, we'll sort out this, this, this the alien we want, the Xenomorph, you know, it's just a... <laughs> Mm -hmm. never happen. Yeah, well, with the Predator series, the Predators, um, they didn't really fight all the humans. It was only the ones that were armed, like, which is why they would, yeah. they were in the forest, like, where there was, like, the guerrilla warriors or whatever, the, right. those, yeah. uh, sort of army men in the forest, like, they would fight them, yeah. but they wouldn't fight, um, like, anybody who didn't Speaking have a gun. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. at that point, just drop your weapons. Don't fight back. <laughs> just let them, you know, go. Like, okay, you're you're yeah. nothing. Just okay. I'm gonna leave now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. That's why they didn't really fight the humans uh, in the thing, because like the aliens, even if they don't have weapons, they are a weapon. Because if you try to kill an alien, its yeah. acid blood will, you know, destroy you or whatever. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So. What were, what were your, um, sort of, uh, how can I say, um, uh, what's influences? the word I'm looking for here? Um, influences, yes, because there's words I was looking for. <laughs> um, um <laughs> I remember movies, like watching a lot of horror movies, like, uh, there was one, it was called, uh, Ginger Snaps. Have you heard of that one? Ginger Snaps? I yeah. haven't, no. No? No. It was like a, a kind of a, it was a, about a, two sisters who, um, they're like 16 years old, but they're like very gothic kind of dreary girls, and they're just, uh, they just are very, um, what are they called, uh, um, very standoffish, and they wear like a lot of baggy clothes to kind of hide their bodies and stuff, because they just don't like guys wow. at all, and, um, and one of one night, uh, the one of the sisters gets attacked by a werewolf, and uh, like these girls hadn't like uh, become women at that time, and so <laughs> mm -hmm. like uh, there's this whole like mistaken thing like I'm growing hair in weird places, and there's also blood and stuff, and people are like, oh, it's your first time with that, and it's like oh no no, it's like oh no, she's got the actual curse of being a woman. <laughs> I was like, oh, you yeah, said we'd yeah. die before this happened. <laughs> like, <laughs> sounds like a movie I've got to watch. Yeah, it's it's pretty funny, uh, <laughs> but at the same time, it's uh, uh, very uh, cool because the uh, um, the sisters like uh, the like one sister is the one that's changing, and she's tr and the other sister's trying to help um, her like not pray vi fall victim to her animalistic tendencies, like, uh, helping her, like, shave off any hair that's growing, or filing down her teeth, or wow. something like that, so. Oh. So, are th uh, any of these girls married? No, they're just, like, they're 16. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, there was, oh, but that was also a series where it was, like, it kind of, uh, there was a sequel, like, uh, uh, yeah. uh, like afterwards, the one of the sisters goes mm -hmm. to a mental institution or whatever, like a bad girls camp sort of thing, so she could, you know, right. get over her uh, mental instabilities about her saying her sister was a werewolf. And then the third one, right, right. it was like set in the like 1800s, but it still starred the two oh. sisters, and one of them wow. was still a werewolf. Like, like she had gotten attacked yeah. in the third one. And it was like, um, uh, and it, and they still like use m more modern language. Like they swore a lot. And I'm like, I don't think in the 1800s oh. people swore that often. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, they'd use sort of different swear words anyway. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. there was a movie called, uh, there was a movie series called Tremors. Oh, Tremors. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, a good one. Tremors. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. 
that 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 sort of that had a bit of an influence on me as well yeah. um, with with all the rest of them. That was another yeah. old school. That's that, that started pretty early too, didn't mm-hmm. it? In the in the years. Um, mm-hmm. When was the first Tremors made? Do you remember? I think it was ninety, like nineteen ninety. Yeah, um, right, right, ni- early nineties. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. But yeah, nineteen ninety, um, and then there was like five sequels, and one of them was uh, the most recent one uh, is uh, in two thousand fifteen. So they're still making them even now, like. Wow. Yeah. Well, I guess now Sci Fi Channel is taking them in, and it's like, and there was a TV sure, series yeah. as well. That's right. There was too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, that that's one that really hasn't, as far as I'm concerned, never lost its edge. Mm-hmm. You know, like they. Um, that they're still, you know, if you think about it in in, in real life, you know, if, if there was any such thing, man, you, you, that would be such a freaky thing to have, you know, like big big huge worms under the under the earth that come up and bloody yeah, media, especially you know, if your uh, uh, town is like in the middle of nowhere sort of thing and there's no yeah. satellite phones yeah. or anything like that, and exactly. uh, like who do you call at that point? You can't call like uh, mm. exterminators or anything because it's like. It was supposed to be like some sort of um, thousand or million year old uh, uh, worm or whatever. Yep, yep, yep. And do you like, have, do you have a favorite? Oh, sorry, you go. Oh, uh, like there was uh, with the three, um, like the first three were like they were introducing a new um, uh, evolution of the uh, first tremor. Uh, like the of the first right. worm, like they would introduce yeah. a new one each movie, and then the fourth one just went back to the like the the past again. Like that's what they did sometimes. Oh, right. And like the first yeah, one, it was yeah. just about the big worms, and then all of a sudden there was like ones where they were walking or whatever, and it was like the shriekers. And then there was one that oh. then the third one it, they introduced the ones that flew via farting. And then that's when it sort of derailed, like, okay, you guys aren't taking this seriously anymore, are you? <laughs> oh, see, I've only watched the first couple, and, yeah. and that's, yeah. Yeah. Um, sounds like I'm glad I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, the first two well, movies are, are good. Like, it talk, it's like, uh, yeah. it just has the first two, uh, like, things, and then I think um, mm. uh, Michael Gross was in all of them, wasn't he? I think so. Uh, the guy who played yeah, the, uh, yeah. yeah, the guy who played the, the kind the of army guns, guy, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it, yeah. That was hilarious, though, when they, like, busted into yeah. that basement, and it was like, guess what, bitch? Mm. <laughs> We're American. Oh, all those guns, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That, that it was, was like, was quick, hand me another gun! Uh, memorable bits. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> yeah, my dream, my dream basement, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Well, especially if you live in a place like that, where there are uh, so many tremors and stuff like that. Sure. Yeah. 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 What about? Um, did you ever see the the House series? House. Yeah, House. There was there was a horror movie called House. H O U S E. Film came out in nineteen eighty six. Um, it was an American horror film. I'm reading from the wiki here. <laughs> um, directed by Steve M- Miner. Um, had William Cat, George Went, uh, Richard Mole, and Kay Lenz. And the plot the plot was about a troubled author who um, lived in his deceased aunt's house, and basically the house was haunted, and he started getting these visions. Um, the dude um, who's who went to live in the house, he was a like an ex Vietnam vet, and he started having um, nightmares of. The dude who he was with in Vietnam, and uh, his his nickname in the military, the the dude that got killed was was named Big Ben, mm-hmm. and he had a sort of a predom- predominant role in in the house, or uh, well, the first house movie, and that was freaky, mate. That 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 scared the shit out of me when I was a kid too. Most of these ones, though, now I look at horror movies, and it just does, they don't have the same effect anymore. Not mm-hmm. even the new ones. But um, but that was a really really cool se- series as well. House, if you haven't seen that, definitely check it out because it's bloody good. And the thing about it was that they um they all had really really cool soundtracks back in those days as well. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Well, like, they had that nice out. 80s soundtrack, like, with the Halloween movies. It, even that, like, the older Halloween movies, it was yeah. had the do 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 sort of like thing. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. So what about your, um, like, the, the horror writers? So, for example, um, Stephen King. Um, yeah. The, you know, we had, uh, I think there was, uh, who was it? Vincent Price? He, mm. he was an old school man. Oh, so yeah. Vincent I love Price, Vincent man. Price, Stephen King, yeah. uh, Dean Koontz, yep. like all those guys. and Alfred, Alfred Hitchcock. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, have you seen Rope? Little, like, rope? No, I haven't. No, it's, I think it's like a, a single shot sort of a movie. Like, there's only a few cuts in the movie, but it's like all one long shot of a movie. Uh, and it just kind of wow. carries from conversation to conversation. And it's about these two friends uh, that um, murdered a third person, like a murdered a, a school friend. And uh, yeah. they ho they ho host a dinner party. Um while the body is like in a in a chest in the room that they're you know having the dinner party at and so it's like a, yeah. a tense moment where it's just like who's gonna like is anybody gonna find out about them like is any gonna be anybody gonna find <laughs> out about the murder at all or and it's just very tense yeah he didn't bounce around anything like he was just like you know what Mm. I'm gonna be the first person to show somebody flush a toilet, and that's w that's what Psycho was. <laughs> Ever, the the uh, critics were like, yeah. or not critics, the uh, uh, censors were like, oh, you can't show a toilet. It was like, well, it's part of the uh, the um, plot. Like the plot is, she tears up a thing and she flushes it down the toilet, and they're like, well, you can't yeah. show it. It's disgusting. It's like, there's not. It's not like she took a whiz or anything like that. She just. Tore right, up the right. thing and just threw it in the gar in the like what would be the garbage, but it's easier to get rid of that yeah. evidence in the toilet. Mm -hmm. And it's quite funny how they they had those sort of restrictions, eh? Yeah. You know, but back in those days, I mean, it, it's not really, um, you know, like they they don't really have too many restrictions these days. I mean, just look at the yeah. whole movies they've got out. Although, like mm. with the blood, mm. it, like uh, they're fine. They can make it PG, I think, if the blood is like green or blue or something like that. So if it's like aliens right. or robots, so it's like that's fine. Yeah. But if it's red, oh yeah. no, then it's gonna get a an R rating, and then it's like, you know what? If we're gonna get an R right. rating, let's go a hard R. <laughs> like. Yeah, let's go all the way. Yeah, like brain dead. Like that's what the uh, that like yeah. the other name for it was dead alive. By the way. <laughs> I remember yeah, that. Alive, that's right. Dead yeah. Alive. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, dead but alive. uh that's right. But uh, like there was a scene with that the weed eater thing or the lawnmower. Mm -hmm. Like that yep. that scene yeah, was great. Up. That's right. And it was like um they showed the close up of the fingers going into the into the spinning blades yeah. and they're almost like sausages, eh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but it was so, it was so, like, it was obvious that was fake because the blood was so bright yeah. that it was like, you know what, yeah, you could yeah. tell it's fake. Or even like with the Hammer yeah. horror films, like, way back in the day, like with the old, the, the um, what's his name, Christopher Lee is Dracula ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. And like yeah, that, yeah, the right. blood was so bright red and it was like, like masses amounts of cleavage and there was like <laughs> like it was just a go for it kind of a time of year it, or a time of horror yeah. movies where it's like you know what go for it <laughs> it'll get go butts in it. seats it'll make us money but it wasn't so crazy yeah. that it's just like this is something this is not something that this character would do because it was all pretty much the same movie. It was like somebody going to the castle, mm. somebody doing this, somebody doing that. Dracula comes out, done. The weirdest thing. Oh. <laughs> I think. Sorry, the, my phone. Oh, <laughs> I think the weirdest thing that happened was like the uh, the kung fu one, like it was called like the Seven Golden Vampires or something like that, where it's like oh. set in Japan or China or something like that. And yeah. uh, it it was just basically a kung fu movie, and they just put in uh, Christopher Lee there <laughs> at the end, and it's oh. like, ah, <laughs> that's that's the yeah, yeah. 
the, he, um, he was a great actor. Know. Like, he had a lot of bravado. Well, he, and, like, he was uh, yeah. uh, very um, uh, dignified and everything. Well, he, yeah, I think he was the, like he was one of the real actors of the mm-hmm. of the time, the era. Yeah. You know? Um, not, none of the it, you know none of this bloody uh, you know holding up cue cards and reading from cue cards. All that all that stuff back then was all memorized. They had to mm-hmm. they had to learn it, learn the learn the lines. Yeah, know? and they learned they the lines because they were they most really likely uh, yeah. uh, uh, not screen actors. They were like um, uh, play actors at first. Like they probably. Yeah. You know, we're in plays first, and then they were like, you know what, I'm going to move on to movies or something like that. Or somebody went to a play yeah. they were in and said, you know what, that person's amazing. They can actually remember their lines past three lines. Because <laughs> yeah. in the yeah. in the theater, yeah. nobody's there to help you with your lines, except in rehearsal or whatever. Yeah. yeah. If you can't remember your lines, your yeah. understudy's got the job or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Alfred Alfred Hitchcock was another guy that I grew up with. Um, one of the one of my favourite Alfred Hitchcock movies was Birds. Oh was yeah, awesome. That was a great oh. one. That, I mean, I'm looking at his list of um, movies now. I mean, from 1920 through to 1993 was his last one. Mm. Um, and I mean, wow, that that guy. I mean, he had a huge, huge influence on, on the horror genre, horror mm-hmm. movies. Uh, a lot of, lot of people looked up to old Mister Mister Hitchcock, um, and yeah, he he really had a, a way about him, didn't he? Like the the way the style of his movies, what he wanted to portray, and how he portrayed it within the movie, um, just had its own vibe, mm-hmm. you know, like a, and 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 it sort of sh- played through. On all of his movies, you know, you, when you when you see an Alfred Hitchcock movie that you don't realise is an Al- Alfred Hitchcock movie, you, you know that something about that is familiar. Mm-hmm. Like something about it, it is very Hitchcock. Hitchcockian, or uh, like yeah, some exactly, movies, mate, yeah. like with the uh, it's not technically a horror movie, but like with Planet of the Apes, mm. like the ending of that one yeah. was very much like rod serling twilight zone episode where it was like yeah. uh you know a big huge twist like <gasps> and it was so very much like you didn't even need to say like it was the earth the entire time like you just saw the yeah. uh the uh statue of liberty and you're like okay i got it <laughs> exactly twilight zone all mm-hmm. over again <laughs> uh, i love twilight there's, zone there's a whole lot oh mate that 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 series. Twilight yeah. Zone and okay. Night Gallery are really good ones. Like, Tales I saw from one... Tales as well. Yeah, oh yeah, Tales from the Crypt. We had one here, it was called Tales from the Crypt Keeper, and it was a cartoon right. version of Tales from the Crypt. And it even had, like, the Crypt Keeper and, like, two witches, or, like, it had a witch and a warlock who kind of, I don't know, wow. who helped bookend the uh, episodes or whatever, but, it like... Co-hosted. Yeah, yeah, to help yeah. co-host or whatever, but it was all cartoon, and I was like, who came up with that? Who was like, you know what? Let's do that. Or uh, there was also a show here. It was called Are You Afraid of the Dark? And uh-huh. uh, it was also like, um, uh, or Goosebumps. Have you heard of that one? Oh, Goosebumps. Yeah, yeah it was yeah, like yeah, Goosebumps, yeah. but it was uh, more horrifying because uh, 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 there was a lot of... Um, um, like, there was one uh, called The Dead Man's Float, and it was, like, this swimming pool. Like, if you went into it, like, there was this dead body, uh, kind of like a ghoulish creature that would come out of the water and try to pull you under. And I'm like, yeah, that's a good thing to give kids. <laughs> wow. Yeah, because, I mean, Goosebumps was aimed at uh, the, the, the kids. Sort yeah. Of. That was like, oh no, yeah, I'm yeah. a dog now, or oh no, my neighbors mm. are weird. Who are they? Oh, they turned out to be vampires. Well, they're gone now. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I never did watch many of the um the Goosebumps. I think I was a bit older mm-hmm. come that time. But um, but yeah, I do. I certainly do remember them. That's yeah. Surreal. Like uh, even some of the That's Goosebumps it. ones were kind of scary though, because like the haunted mask. Where like she put on this scary mask and uh, it wouldn't come off, and then it was just like, oh, that's terrifying. Like she has to live with this scary mask on her face. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty cool though. 
but it reminds me of that bloody um, Jim Carrey movie, The Mask. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that was a good, movie. like, that's not a horror movie, but that's still a great movie, no, too. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, the yeah. comic books it's based off of can be considered horror because of the um because of the things that the the uh mask character does like the actual uh right. the anti-hero does because yeah, he's not really a yeah, hero yeah, he's yeah, more yeah. like an anti-hero he you know mm. technically saves the day but he does it his own way uh sure. you know yeah. with whatever casualties may happen <laughs> yeah 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 we sort of yeah didn't didn't um so yeah, didn't care too much about what how how it ended up. It just yeah, ended up like that. <laughs> mm-hmm. but, but yeah, like like um, Alfred Hitchcock was and Vincent Price were my main sort of inspirations for like the my growing up. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I grew up with a lot of cult horror movies. So oh yeah, was, you know, going back, um, the the swamp the thing from the swamp or the swamp creature or whatever it was and. Just like the, I, I, I even remember the old school black and white Dracula, you know, when that when that all first came out. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, you know, when, when I was with a kid. Bo- I, I uh, with the, I the wouldn't call him Boris, out. but that's not it. Bella Lugosi. Yeah. That's, <laughs> I was going to call him Boris, and I was like, oh no, that's Boris Karloff, and he was the mummy. <laughs> that's a different right, movie. Yes, yes. But even he, like, he didn't have to say anything. He was just very... Like, he could just say it with his eyes. Like, that's a lot of things, like, um, a lot of actors don't do that anymore unless it's, like, smolder, like they're trying to look sexy or anything like that. It's like, no, try to look terrifying. (laughs) A lot of of people can do that still, though. Yeah, yeah, Mm -hmm. yeah. But, like, um, Herman Munster off the original um, Munsters. Remember Mm -hmm. the Munsters? Mm -hmm. Well, that came out, when that first came out, that was all black and white. And um and that that original Herman Munster just looked like he was meant to play Herman Bloody Munster. He was he was the dude, you know. And I mean he had a he had a sense of humour on him as well. But I mean he he just looked like he he was certainly born to be the part of Herman Munster. You know? mm-hmm. It's like far out. Um, but yeah, I mean we've got a lot more to talk about uh, with regard to horror movies. Um. My time is running short. I've got like 20 minutes before I start to live stream. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll just um, uh, finish this up then. So, like, we'll finish this up for in about five minutes. How's that sound? Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. That's fantastic. Give um, you time so, for yeah, a whiz. <laughs> oh, I do. I need to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding it back. I'm holding it back. Yeah. But all this, all this excitement about horror movies has really um, brought out the inner child in me really like um mm-hmm. i really want to go back and and watch the old school movies but mm-hmm. i mean it's really hard to find some of the ones that you know you, like like the extra um you know down at the local video store anymore you just don't see them um, yeah well you, know, you can probably really find it on youtube there's a lot of full movies on youtube and yeah. stuff like that oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I was just looking at the Vincent I mean, Price Wikipedia, and there's like one that said uh, he was on Batman, and he was the egg-based supervillain. And I'm like, oh god, I forgot about that. Wow. <laughs> he was like really? an egg-based supervillain, and he said egg puns and stuff, and that's hilarious. Oh, and I was just like, oh my god, no. And then I remember him saying <laughs> like, yes, Batman, exactly. And I'm like, no. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I love puns, Eight but puns. sometimes it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially when yeah. it's from Vincent Price. <laughs> oh yeah, like he's got such a name. like a like a, a wonderful clear but booming voice. Like he's got a, definitely got a radio mm. voice. Like that's yep. definitely a yep. film, uh, like a radio sort of a voice. Like he was in a lot of yep. Edgar Allan Poe adaptations too, by uh, Roger Corman. Okay. Like uh, Pit and the Pendulum and uh, The Raven and oh. Mask of Red Death and all that stuff and those movies right, are just like right. perfect for like him and his voice and the way he carries himself. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Yeah, oh, I'm looking at a photo of him now, man, and you can just yeah, you can sort of feel the vibe, eh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that's pretty awesome. So in the next episode, um. We'll just gush of, more about of, horror movies <laughs> uh, yeah, of the, the Frostcast. Tales from, 
tales from the fourth cast. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be continuing our discussion of mm-hmm. horror movies, and uh, it's gonna be cool. Mm-hmm. I, I like it. I really enjoy the uh, the topic. Mm-hmm. To be honest, especially when we're talking about like what influenced us as uh, um, people, yeah. like what turned us into what what uh, nightmarish creatures we have become today. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like for real, watching for real. monster movies as a the kid. <laughs> watching monster movies as yeah. a kid that turned you into a bit of a monster yourself. <laughs> oh, the old um, human centipede, you reckon? Oh. <laughs> Let, let's <laughs> save that for the next episode, shall we? <laughs> I think so. I think so. <laughs> okay. Uh, and until next okay. time, uh, uh, you know, keep the light on. Uh, and. Uh, so you won't have to watch your ass when you, uh... Yep. <laughs> All right. Uh... Check, check under your bed. <laughs> check under your bed. Grab your ankles, kiss your ass goodbye. <laughs> yep. Leave your closet door open. <laughs> yeah, leave it open. You don't want the monsters to bonk their heads when they try to walk in. Walk into Please. the door, <laughs> just poof. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank awesome. you, and thank you for watching, everybody, if, if people actually watch this. <laughs> and uh, we'll see I'll you next episode. Bye.